The alarm went off early in Friartown Saturday. <laughs> Hours before tip-off, fans lined up, waiting for the doors to open and ready to pack the amp, finally getting a chance to let out 10 months of their held back feelings. Because after all the anticipation and all the hype, the X was back in town. The coach who helped build this atmosphere in his 12 seasons leading the Friars, now feeling its anger. Ed Cooley, back in his hometown as the leader of the Hoyas. It was emotional walking out. 12 years, baby. And uh, of course, they're passionate fans, which they should be. I have no... They should be that way, and it's okay. The chance never stopped. The energy in the building was mostly consistent, maybe except for when Georgetown took a late lead, but Devin Carter's heroics, sealing a victory for PC, the one fans wanted most this season. I was happy to see Devin. I was hoping he missed a bunch of shots, but Devin's going to be a lottery pick. He's a hell of a player. At the end of the day, it's all business, and try to get the win no matter who's on the other side. But this game simply had something different to it, with the once revered coach turned heel on the other side. If anything, I should ask Providence College for a bonus check based on the energy that was in here. Cooley helped build that atmosphere, it's true, but he felt 10 months ago he needed change. And the reason I made a business family decision, many don't have the courage to change. It is my hope and my dream. Not only do we play twice, but we play four times a year one for a Big East championship, and one for a national championship. I love you, Providence College. I appreciate you. And with that closure for Friartown, do you ever really get it after a breakup? We'll see. But this PC Friars team now has to quickly turn the page to the next chapter of its season, which is a date on Wednesday night at 8.30 against another old friend, Dan Hurley, and the number one team in the country, the Yukon Huskies. From the Amp in downtown Providence, I'm Nick Coy, ABC6 Sports.